Never before has economic disruption been so severe. The pandemic struck at a time when the country was addressing structural problems in the economy and government support was required to sustain families and businesses in the face of revenue challenges and income shortages. The road to recovery required an inclusive, collaborative, multi-sector approach, which they delivered. The biggest challenge is to keep the economy moving keep the money flowing and make what we call mandatory payments. Every month we have to make mandatory payments of almost four billion dollars and that involves salaries throughout the public sector and the state sector. It involves goods and services, electricity, telephone, essential supplies. For example in the health sector we have a huge pharmaceutical bill medication, medical supplies, etc. Over a billion dollars a year, just for that alone. The challenges of working in a pandemic are actually threefold. One, you have to provide additional support to vulnerable populations. Then you have to cope with a vastly reduced revenue stream. And the third thing is that because of the pandemic and because of the public health restrictions, the system isn't functioning as it should. You know. Not every public servant is at work, for example. Things take longer now. Simple little things like releasing funds takes longer because not everybody is at work. Some people are in quarantine and that sort of thing. So it's very disruptive. We have for years been running the expenditure of the country way beyond our means. I don't think there's any proper understanding of it. You come into this ministry and you have to watch the overdraft at the central bank every day. We get a report every single day and I have to look at it. And once the overdraft is inching up beyond 80% and getting up to 90, we have to start taking action. We have to start throttling back. We have to start finding money. I'm told this has never happened before, that, that previously there was no overdraft. The, 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 the government's account was in surplus in the central bank up to 2012. In fact, in 2010, there was $6 billion in credit. So the concept of having to struggle with an overdraft that is right at the limit every day is something unknown to ministers and public servants. The public servants are not even accustomed to it yet. And that's why we always find ourselves having to scramble all the time. So that what I appreciate from this job is how fragile the situation is and how much care and attention you have, you really have to pay attention with this job. This is not a, a ministry where you could let delegate everything and let other people, you know, perform your functions. In the coming year, I'm hoping that the two institutions that we have managed to find solutions to, which is the Gambling and Gaming Authority and the Revenue Authority, I will be able to establish them and operationalize them in the coming year. So that